Good morning. This is Morning in the Mountains on the Mountain Fun Life channel. The show is on the way. And right now, though, we'll take a quick look at the roadways. Now, National Park roads can always close because of weather conditions. That's something to keep in mind while you're in town. And that can pretty much happen anytime we have snow and ice. And usually Newfin Gap Road is going to be the first to close. We did have some seasonal road closures, including Clingmas Dome Road and Little Greenbrier Road. Cades Cove Loop Road closed from now through February 29th to do some repair work there as well. We also have State Route 71, both directions in Sevier County, between 73 and Park Lane, resurfacing there, resurfacing there, causing some temporary lane closures at night, and that's going to be completed in May. That's Look at the Roads. I'm Brad Lovett, now on with the rest of the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Morning in the Mountains with Kira and Savannah. We are here at Vol Magic Wash LLC here in Sevierville, Tennessee. We are here with Dominic. Hello, Dominic. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for coming. We Good appreciate morning. having you. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Dominic, could you tell us a little bit about the new mechanic services you offer here? Yes, I'd be glad to tell you about that. Folks, we have begun a new mechanic service here at our shop where we do things like brakes and um, tune-ups and things of that nature. Also, folks, take advantage of this for the winter. We're doing coolant flushes now, uh, transmission mission flushes right now, things that help you prepare your car for the winter. We are also doing those things as well. Um, a list of all of our mechanics you can find at our website at ballmagicwashandlube.com. Feel free to go there. By the way, if anyone comes to the shop and tells me that they watched these two ladies on television and found out about our mechanics, 10% off your first mechanic job today as you come by. Mm, that right. is a great deal. And who doesn't love saving money? Everybody loves to save money, right? Yeah. I know sure I do. do. <laughs> and you all don't only do mechanic work. You also have a car wash. Correct. Right. You've got detail packages. You've got free vacuums whenever free vacuum. you buy. You a bet. Wash. You bet. Oil changing lube, so we change oil as well. Um, and uh, you know, it's 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 an it's an awesome program. Uh, most of it is new, and we put it into effect now. So please stop by and check us out, guys. Brand new on the Parkway. We're right here on the main Parkway. Stop by. Ten percent off of any of the amenities. When you tell me you watch these ladies, ten percent off. <laughs> Thank you so much, you Dominic. Are Thank you all for coming. Thanks. Now back to you guys. When I became disabled, I lost my ability to work. It was then I knew I should have called the Garza Law Firm first. At Garza Law Firm, we want to end your frustration and strengthen your claims so you can have the disability benefits that you need. The Garza Law Firm, let us help. It's morning in the mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Hi, I'm Frank Murphy. Jim Johnson is here. Kira Cup and Brad Lovett. And we're at the Ides of the Week, which yes. really would be closer like to noon today, I would think, you know. Because really, we're just starting. Most That's people, true. we're just starting the work day, 9 o'clock in the morning, you know, we're, but it's still Wednesday. Well, we're coming up to the Ides. It's just three hours away. Yes, yeah, so that would be the midpoint of the so week. It's right? the midpoint of the midpoint. So it's the Ides of the Ides of the Ides. Now you're talking my language. That's something I can yeah. understand. Brad, <laughs> what's <laughs> happening for us on this wonderful Wednesday? Well, we just wrapped up the holiday tourism season. Yes. And very busy as it was. I spent some time in Gatlinburg and very busy. Lots of folks walking around, especially when we had that really warm day at the end of December. Oh, yeah. Now, well, that Gatlinburg has been packed. I mean, they say uh, on one of the news stories I was reading said that this is a super busy time. You know, Christmas is a wonderful time to be in the Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my son was here, so we spent a day walking around Gatlinburg, and it's just packed, you know? I mean, you, know, you get to the point where people are impatient. They can't wait for the pedestrian cross light to go because there's just so many people jammed into the street corner that eventually they just explode forward and jaywalk. I know they shouldn't, but they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, it's Gatlinburg. Yeah. But by all measures that we know about now, it's been a success, and that means lots of green for businesses here in the area, which is always a good thing. 
Now in 2018, Pigeon Forge brought in $1.4 billion in revenue. Now that was up from 2017. Now we don't know the numbers yet, but we will very soon. And those will be announced in February as part of the Pigeon Forge Mayor's State of the City Address. Mm -hmm. So all the numbers released in Pigeon Forge, I know we will for all of Sevier County, Sevierville and Gatlinburg as well. Wow, that's a lot of tourism money. That's it good. Is. Well, welcome. And we thank you. Please keep coming. <laughs> There's no better place to go. I mean, I've been all over the world. You probably have too. And it's like, it's a great every time. time I drive into Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg, I just, I get yeah. mm -hmm. yes. Get charged it's up. Get feel good. Yeah, me too. Me too. Well, I see when I drive in from South Knoxville the first time, where you get to see more and you see the mountains come into view. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. There's a couple of points along the way where you just get that view and you're like, that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm going there. <laughs> yeah. This makes you feel good. This yeah. me, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. Now, there are a lot of reasons to be here in January. Oh, yeah? Because be just a little less crowd, but still. I mean, besides the fact that we work here? Well, besides the fact okay. that <laughs> I mean, not specifically, but oh, for, right. for our okay. viewers right. to, to be here. Or even if you live in the region and want to spend a, a day over here. Yeah. Winterfest is still going on. You still can see the lights for a while longer. Mm -hmm. And if, if you like those lights and you're sad that they're off in your town and all you have to do is look at just darkness and thinking about income taxes and stuff, <laughs> great time to visit. We still have the lights on here through mid-February. <laughs> yeah, if you live in Pottersville, <laughs> we've got a sad town, <laughs> come on over. We've got you covered in Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. Mm -hmm. It's happy times. And you really have the best deals of the year on hotels and cabins. Right, because this is... We, these used to be considered the off season. Mm -hmm. and really, there is no longer an off season. But um, between now and the spring break weeks, which depending on, on where you live, some of them have them in February, some of them have them in March. Mm -hmm. um, you get that little bit of a gap. So, yeah, traditionally you might be able to save some money while you come this time of year. Good mm -hmm. idea. That you can do. And now you might find a few stores and restaurants with shorter hours. Some of the shows will be on hiatus, but there's still plenty to do here in the area. And, and some of those. Hotels have heated pools indoors. Mm -hmm. oh, so, yeah. I like those. So, or they have heated hot tubs. Yes, that too. Well, the, ca the uh, cabins, you can I sit out the side on the back deck in the cold but with the hot water. That's always fun. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. With the snowy. Yeah. It's pretty nice. I don't like cold weather, but being in a hot tub in the snow is super cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll trust you on that. It is. It's great. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. The, now, getting into the hot tub, that's, the that's a different thing. That's the deal breaker for me right there. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> I don't like, you know. Oh, that, that part is a necessary part of doing that. Yeah. Now, did want to remind you, you might not be able to visit Cades Cove for a little while because they're doing some renovations there on a tunnel. Mm. And so they've got the Laurel Creek Road, that seven mile access road to Townsend Y. That's going to be closed most of January and February. But they're going to get that all ready for you for March. So when that season begins, right. it'll be a lot better getting there. And we were speaking about saving and money. So when you are looking to join us in the Smoky Mountains, let us save you money with our Mountain Fun Life Best Deals. Call our concierge service at 865-978-1152. We'll have more information on that throughout the course of the show. But we want to save you money just by doing what we do here at Mountain Fun Life. Brad Lovett's here. Kira Cup is here. Jim Johnson's here. More of the show is on the way. Want more Mountain Fun Life? We are now streaming through Roku. Roku is a device that enables you to stream entertainment to your TV through your internet provider. The starting price is only $29, and you can purchase one either online or through your local electronics retailer. It's easy to use, and you won't have to worry about missing any more Mountain Fun Life episodes. Mountain Fun Life, guiding your adventure. It is morning in the mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Hi, I'm Frank Murphy, and today we get to talk about a cause that I'm fairly passionate about, and that is the gift of blood donation. Felicia Rhodes is here from Medic Regional Blood Center. Hi, Felicia. Hi, good morning. Hi, nice to have you here. Now, as we're uh, getting ready and getting settled in, Felicia is recounting from memory some of the many blood drives. She says, well, you donated that time. We had the setup at the church, and you came downtown to Ayler Avenue, and you did this, and you did this. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I thought you must have looked me up in the computer, but 
No, I know faces, <laughs> and I know people who who are avid donors, and you've been great to support our cause. Not only that, you recognized which uh -huh. arm I used. <laughs> <laughs> you said, oh, yeah, it was definitely that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know your veins pretty well. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Well, I started as a blood donor in high school when it was, I lived in an area that had American Red Cross for uh, blood donation. But here in East Tennessee, uh, Medic Regional Blood Center is the, the go-to. You know, American Red Cross exists, but they do the disaster relief in our area. You guys pick up all of the burden when it comes to blood. Uh, so tell us when, you know, especially around holiday times, but there's always a need for the universal donor, which is... O negative. O negative. Yes. So if o you've got O negative, they can use you, if you're, even if you're in town, just on vacation. Definitely. This time of year, uh, it, the colder seasons, a lot of people tend to be busy. I mean, they've been shopping Christmas time. Uh, they're trying to get ready for New Year's. Yeah. And they're trying to get ready for all these other spectacular yeah, yeah. Valentine's events. Day and yes. President's Day. <laughs> yes, there's so many holidays that are coming up. But the one thing is there's always a need for blood, no matter what holiday is coming. Well, actually, when you said the colder weather is a slower time for blood donations, I immediately went to the hot weather when we do or have done pint for a pint and you can get a pint of ice cream because <laughs> they are lined up <laughs> yes. for ice cream when they uh, for those donations. Yes, uh, during the uh, during our summer seasons, it's just I mean everybody wants they, they want to cool off. Yeah, and now everybody wants to stay warm. Right. Um, but getting into this during the holidays, during the rush, everybody seems to be so busy with those things and they don't think about taking the time to come out and give and donate to help save a life. Right, because we're hit up for monetary donations a lot during the end of the year. But I know in, um, I, as having been involved in promoting blood, blood drives over the years, I remember we had one in January, the Roll Up Your Sleeve campaign. And then each time, you know, throughout the course of the year, there'd be different ones. I'm a big fan, of course, of the Parrot Head, the Jimmy oh, Buffett-themed yes. uh, blood drive that happens in May, right over, right before the Memorial Day which again is time to a holiday because you know that when traffic increases on the roads, unfortunately there's gonna be more traffic accidents and there's a bigger demand for the blood bank supplies. Yes, I mean, there's accidents that happen occur every single day, but there are also cancer patients yes. that can use that blood. And there's certain conditions that some patients have that where they continuously have a need for blood. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I know uh, some of my friends who have uh, been involved in the Leukemia Lymphoma Society will try to bank up blood in advance for the kids who need it. You know, that's another way to think about how you're helping out. Maybe a stranger, maybe someone you know. Right. Um, something that we are very fortunate here in East Tennessee with Medic Regional Blood Center is that if you donate one time in a year, that's gonna cover you and any of your IRS dependents, no matter what hospital you go to in the United States. Wow. So to me, that's peace of mind, that knowing that my family is gonna be covered in the event of an accident. So the best way to find the blood drive nearest you is simply to go to medicblood.org. And there's, I mean, just dozens any given week. Because yes. you guys have so many blood mobiles. Yes, we have several uh, buses. We also have inside setups where we're able to go inside a facility and actually set up those blood drives. But yes, we, we cover seven days a week. Um, yeah. The need for blood never takes a vacation. Mm -hmm. So we always have to have those units on the shelf to be ready to go in the event that they're needed. So uh, O negative is great because anybody, whether you're A, B, B, A, you can receive O type blood. But that doesn't mean that those of us with our fancy special blood like me with my AB, <laughs> you can still use it. Yes, we can use, right now we need every single product that we p can potentially get. Did you bring a needle or am I, do I have to you bleed know, right I'll now? You know, I'll go get one, especially for you. <laughs> especially for you. I know I can tap in that arm. Um, you know, O positive, just thinking about that, that's the most common blood type. And not a lot of people say, well, that I'm the most common blood type not a lot of people use it well you're the most common blood type therefore a lot of people need that Boom. Uh, there's you know a positive is the second most common blood type we really need o negative a negative b negative those rare ones that you don't see a whole lot of as well terrific because you can also uh, i know when i go you can say well today we just need your plasma 
So it's a different process where you take the blood out, spin it through a machine, and I get the red ones back in on the other arm, and you keep the plasma that day. Right. Yeah, I've done that too. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah. Well, Felicia Rhodes, thank you so much for visiting with me, and thank you for remembering my veins. I feel so special. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me today. All right, medicblood.org. So even when you're in the Smokies on vacation, you can put this as part of your uh, vacation plans. It's a great thing to do with the family. All right, and hey, how young? How old do you have to be, 18? you got to be 16. Six, At 16. least in the state of Tennessee, you have to be 16 year old, years old. And we also have a parental consent form that needs to be signed. Okay. But you can always um, call us, and well, we will be glad to get that out to you. I got started as a time. blood donor when I was in high school, and that was a few years back. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just a few. All right. Felicia Rhodes, medicblood.org. You're watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life. More of the show is straight ahead. Welcome back to the Mountain Fun Life channel and Morning the Mountains. I'm Brad Lovett. As we take a quick look at the weather forecast, we're going to have those temperatures right around the 40 degree mark once again today. And just partly cloudy skies, maybe a chance of a flurry, maybe a chance of a snow shower or even a rain shower. So you want to watch out for all that, especially in the higher elevations. Now bear in mind, when we talk about the temperatures near the attractions, it's going to be warmer than the temperatures in the higher elevations. We're going to have temperatures in the 50s as we head toward the weekend and maybe touching 60 by Monday, but we'll have to wait and see on that. And that's the forecast. I'm Brad Lovett. This is the Mountain Fun Life Channel. You're watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Hi, I'm Frank Murphy, Jim Johnson, Kira Cup, and Brad Lovett are all here as we're talking about things to do in and around the Smoky Mountains now that we're a week into the new year. Yes. You know, New Year's Day. Anyone still doing their resolutions? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, absolutely. Oh, of course we are, yes. You can't tell? <laughs> we're working on it. Anyhow, uh, here's Brad with the update on stuff happening. Well, the gym is full because of all the New Year's resolution people. The gym, yeah. Oh, right. oh, that the GYM. GYM. Yes. I was still thinking about <laughs> good old JIM over yes. here. Uh, all, right. all the fitness places they're packed. You know, they will be yeah. for about you know two or three weeks. Okay. Yeah. Then all the New Year's resolution people will you know go away, and I can get a machine again. <laughs> <laughs> all righty then. Now, if you enjoy seeing Cades Cove in the snow, that chance may not happen for you this winter because they're doing some renovations on one of the roads leading to Cades Cove, and that way it's going to be. Really nice as you, I mean, Cades Cove is always nice, but the road will be a little better as they fix a tunnel in that area. Uh -huh. and, and one thing I had read about is they have heated that work area so the workers can work, so they can do this work in the winter. See, now this is what, able to. this is exactly the same thing that Jim Johnson was telling us about off the air, that he wants a heated tunnel to go from his cabin. What, you're gonna rent a cabin maybe this winter? No, I'm talking about my house. Oh, your house in? See, I have a you have a hot tub outside. I have a hot tub outside. And but the coldness between the house and the hot tub is the deal breaker for you, right? right? You need an ET tunnel. Okay, a heated yeah, tunnel. High maintenance. No, I'm, well, I'm the one who has to build it. I, it's not like I'm asking somebody else to build it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just get a rope. <laughs> I have one, but it, I just like the idea of a nice heated tunnel yeah. to the hot tub. Because that way. So whatever you do, you're going to be wet and cold when you get out of the hot tub. So you need instant warmth. Yeah. See, when you get out and if you've got a heated tunnel, then the heat's going, and then you get out of the hot tub, and then. Would enough of those nice. those uh, <laughs> keros those kerosene heaters that they have at uh, restaurants and things, those silver yeah, ones? Yeah, I had one of those on the porch. Yeah. Well, if you had enough of them in a row, 
and you were burn propane, I think is what they yes. call it, and you were burning the propane on all of them, would it create enough of a heat zone? It probably would. But then you'd have to go out there and turn them on. And it gets really expensive. You gotta, you gotta, because that much propane. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of propane. Yeah. Just saying. All right. Could have a thousand dollar a month propane bill. So that. And but I'd be warm on the way to the hot tub. You could just take a bath in the house. It's not the same. Uh, it's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we want to thank everybody who came to visit the Smoky Mountains. Individually. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. Thank you. And you. Mm -hmm. and, and if you are one who did visit, we want to thank you again. We raise some money for our businesses in the area and also for our tax base and keep things uh, moving here. And Well, tourism is our industry. It is our industry. That's what we're all about. That's why we have this show. We want to save you money on, on attractions. I mean, we love tourism or we wouldn't be here. I mean, I'm That's a tourist true. when I, I like to travel. Mm -hmm. So this is all super exciting. I'm, I can relate to all this stuff. Mm -hmm. We had some numbers from a couple of years ago from the, from the 2018 years, the last full year we have numbers on so far. Pigeon Forge itself brought in 1.4 billion revenue. That was up from 2017, up by 8%. Now we'll see those numbers very soon. We'll have them in February, and those will be announced at the State of the City address in Pigeon Forge. All right, so the, that's kind of like the State of the Union, except it's the State of the Forge. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I like that, State of the Forge. <laughs> Why not? And, and, and we'll have, uh, we'll have a full, full report once that does come out as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, we still have great things to do here in the Smoky Mountain area. Winterfest is still going on mm -hmm. through the middle part of February. So get here. Yeah, make your plans. I mean, if you're up north in some of those areas where they have the Mud Week vacations, I remember when I was in high school, the quote unquote spring break was in the middle of February. Mm -hmm. It was Mud Week. Is what they called it, and you would go someplace as warm as possible. Yeah. But if you're into the winter vacations, come join us during Winterfest, and we'll let us save you money on our Mountain Fun Life best deals. When you call Karina in the office, our concierge service, she's got the information. She says, well, if you like this show, well, there might be off on the days you're here, so instead you might also then prefer this other one that we can save you money on. They've got all that figured out. It's That's why we call it concierge service without the hassle at 865-978-1152. It's our Mountain Fun Life best deals. Hey, look right there. <laughs> we also have special bundles too, so if you want to do multiple shows, you can call in and see what kind of deals that we have in that space. My mom watched our interview with the Red Skelton guy, mm -hmm. and I think that might be enough to get her to drive down here. <laughs> really? <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> so, well, come on down. All right. We'll be back with more of the show coming right up on Mountain Fun Life. Mountain. This attraction has it all, whether you're two years old or 90 years young, with hundreds of beautiful tropical birds and thousands of flowers, plants, and trees. Folks who visited our park have said, I've never seen this many birds in one place. This must be what the Garden of Eden was like, the most beautiful and peaceful place I have ever been. These gardens rival the best, the best value in the Smokies. You'll want to visit Parrot Mountain and Gardens. Call or visit us online. We'll see you there. Right the board. It's morning in the mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Hi, I'm Frank Murphy. Time for a look at sports with our sports director, Rich Haley. Yes. And there's not a lot going on today on a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday, so we don't have any high school basketball. No. So. But you know why there's no high school basketball? Because it's Elvis's birthday, and that should be a state holiday that in Tennessee. That should be a national holiday. Forget state holiday. Well, it certainly should be a state holiday because, yes. so that would explain why there's no high school sports on Elvis's birthday. Because you've all got to have your peanut butter and banana sandwiches. You know what? I'm going to go with that. Right? Have you ever had an Elvis burger? Yes. Will you ever but, have another? Yes. Okay. It depends, but it depends where you go because uh, different restaurants will call their Elvis burger, you know, they're, they, they're where they load everything on, they'll call it the Elvis burger. And some of them are just fine and some of them are overloaded and disgusting. So I generally avoid those ones. Yeah. What would what, you put on an Elvis burger? I had an Elvis burger that w had, was covered in peanut butter and bananas. Okay. I had something like that uh, yeah. at um, on Market Square. Where was it? Might have been not Watson's. Okay. This, yeah. this was here locally. Okay. So, 
and oh. I enjoyed it. I will never do it again. Well, if you go to Pancake Pantry, you can get the uh, just their their featured burger. It's not called an Elvis burger, but it's got four slices of banana on it yeah. and a green pepper. I had that uh, recently. That cool. would be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. Well, anyway, so there are some sports, though, right? Yes, we've got the Ice Bears. Who are not celebrating Elvis's birthday? They are not celebrating Elvis's birthday. Dudes, you missed out. Yeah, well, they're they're going down to Birmingham to take on the Birmingham Bulls. Well, maybe they never heard of Elvis down in Birmingham. Well, it is Alabama, so that is a possibility. <laughs> See, Elvis is a Tupelo boy, right? He's from Mississippi, yes, and then Memphis. So yes, but That's we a, claim him in Tennessee because of course you know, we do. Elvis, Graceland, absolutely, Graceland. It's right there. Yeah. So slow sports day, but it's a big Elvis day. So. Yeah, well, you can have all the other Elvis things. You know, he oh, enjoyed, yeah. he had a list of uh, 31 things that had to be kept in Graceland at all times. That I did not a know. A shopping list, in case he wanted any of the things. Okay. And it always amused me that number 31 on the list was phenomate laxative gum. Elvis had a problem. You can research that on your own. <laughs> all I'm going to say is apparently he ran out. <laughs> Oh, there's a whole book called The Death of Elvis where it goes into detail about the autopsy. And I'll say that off the air because I don't want to lose too Yo, hang up and listen. I'll just just listen to his his, his music, yes. That's that's it. (laughs) You're watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Happy Elvis' birthday, everybody. You've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. You have to carefully monitor your health for the rest of your life. And you have an increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Cut. Type 2, take 2. Action. You've been diagnosed with a new purpose, to fight for the amazing life you made for yourself, to look that risk of heart disease square in the face and say, no, not me. You've been given a new opportunity to live. Get started at nodiabetesbyheart.org. We now have our own magazine. Our prints are located in shops, gas stations, hotels, ballparks, all over the Smoky Mountain region. We offer a concierge service for cabins, hotels, resorts, and individuals. A portion of any of our services or ad space may be applied as ticket value to the cost of any service or ad you book through us. Contact our marketing today for a free initial consultation. Email marketing at mountainfunlive.com. I know we're supposed to be watching the commercials along with you, but during that last one, Jim and Kira are talking about the video you posted of your dad singing, and he used to be in a band? Yeah, he was in, it was kind of like a rock band kind of thing. It was called Third Obsession. Third Obsession. Third Obsession. Yes, okay. and uh, they actually won the Battle of the Bands at the Cotton Eye Joe years ago. Oh, cool. How cool is that? Yeah, it's really cool. All right, well, that's fun. Yeah. Doing covers, originals, both? Both. I'm, I'm curious to know what some of the, if you can remember any of the covers are, or you can ask them, tell us another day, but I'm curious remember. to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, between now and Ask Frank Live, maybe you can give them a... Maybe I can do that. Give them a holler. Yes. All right, because I'd love to know what those are. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for uh, watching us here on Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life for Brad Lovett, Kira Cup, and Jim Johnson. I'm Frank Murphy. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.